Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Aries. Um, this is for the full moon in April and how these energies could possibly uh, affect some of you. So um, it is general. It will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. I feel um, I feel that you around this time you will be uh, the emotions will be uh, very uh, very strong. Um, you're going to be thinking a lot about somebody from your past. I feel somebody you might have walked away from. Um, <clears throat> I feel that in the past, most likely, <clears throat> you were you found something out, uh, something that was going on behind the scenes, possibly. Um, that this person wasn't faithful to you or wasn't loyal to you and you may have walked away uh, not not because you wanted to but you felt you had to walk away um, I feel that you you still think of trying to heal uh, this relationship I feel in the past it was just like Th that relationship was struggling and there was um, just no, uh, you couldn't find a way to fix things. Um, and, you know, I feel that you tried, um, but your, your wishes and your desires took a turn for the worse. Um, I get here that you, um, because these two cards are conflicting, and what I feel this is, because this is like somebody who doesn't see something coming, a betrayal, but yet the Eight of Swords here is in the reverse, so I feel almost like you saw this, you did see this coming. And maybe it's because you were watching them or spying on them. And maybe it's because they were inconsistent in, in regards to the relationship and what they offered to the relationship. You have not gotten over this person. Um... You could have been dealing with somebody who may have been, um, uh, who, you know, very controlling. They may have had a very large ego. And I feel as though your love never wavered for this person with this card being here. Um... Like I said, you walked away because you felt you had to. Um, but you, around this full moon, I know that you, you think about them anyway, but I mean, it's going to be even stronger. Um, your abilities will be more enhanced at this time also. Um, we have you in this Four of Swords energy, thinking. Um the three of swords hanging there, one sword over the chest, two over the head, and you're, it sits on top of this ace of cups in reverse. I feel as though there are feelings inside that, um, that you've kept, like that you haven't been able to let, let go or, or, or um, express uh, things that you would like to say to that person. I feel you would like to heal this. Temperance is here. You're wanting a reconciliation and a new uh, start with this person. Ace of Pentacles is here. 
Um, we have the King of Swords, who's planning, analyzing the situation, okay? And here it sits above this Four of Swords, analyzing the situation. He's attached and touching Temperance and the Six of Cups. So um, above him, we have also the Strategist, pretty much the same card from the symbol on. Planning his next move. The fool is on the floor on its side, and we have the vampire next to it standing up. So we know that whatever happened here has emotionally drained this person. But yet they think of um, trying to bring this back to life, or it is their desire to do so. They have not forgotten this person. This is the relationship that was struggling, pouring rain on that Ten of Cups along with the Nine of Swords. They can't forget. Beneath that we have the third party and Temperance again with both her feet in the water, unable to find that balance, trying to find some sort of middle ground here. And you know, you knew you knew, you felt that that was coming. Because over here we have the tower reverse, so you were resisting that ending. Both feet, uh, both feet. <laughs> One foot is still in this choppy water. The other foot is, is up, suspended in the air, trying to get into that boat, wanting to move this from um, the choppy waters that it's in to more calmer waters. So around this time, and you know, this can go into May, um, you're going to receive news. Um, and it could be the beginning of a healing process for you. Because we have the key next to it. So the key, doors that were locked to you previously, can now be reopened. Now it is coming with the serpent and because the serpent is sitting with all of these positive cards, uh, I feel that this is um, a chance to um, uh, to renew this. A chance to heal it. So um, an opportunity could very well show up for you to get this um, desire that we see on this woman's face in the Six of Cups. Um, with the serpent, though, um, it can also indicate, um, or it's, it's like a warning to beware of hidden agendas or half-truths. So um, there will be news, there will be a conversation or a meeting, possibly a reunion here, um, where you may try to find that middle ground. But, you know, um, just be careful. Uh, because of the warning on the serpent. You know, don't rush into this and take your time. I thank you for watching and many blessings. Bye for now.